welcoming video where you can see how to work with sliding screens. In comfort panels you can use sliding screens, for example slide in screen bottom, slide in screen left, slide in screen right and top. First we create <coughs> new screen, for example with name test slide. Okay, we define this screen as a start screen. Okay. When you want to use slide in screen, first you for example now we use button, you click on it, choose properties, and in general option of properties is checkbox enable okay now the screen is enabled in our project click ok save and we simulate okay this is the handle see this is this is sliding screen button object here we change the color to see it better properties for example we choose background color as yellow and handle will be pink and lines black okay safe and simulate click here yes now we can see the handle click on the handle and you see sliding screen button this is the operator area of the button and you make it invisible when you click again on this handle visible when you click on the handle or when you click anywhere but not on the button sliding screen you hide it okay Oops. <clears throat> Also, there is properties for the handle visibility. Now we use hide handle automatically. You can also choose always show handle. And you still see the handle of the sliding screen button object. Or you can use never show handle. You can choose this option, but now there is problem to show the <coughs> sliding screen button object. For this, you want to use something, for example, like a button button insert button object change the text to show slide in screen button for this button we use event where after release of this button we show slide in screen screen name is the graph x slide in screen button and the mode is toggle when you click on it then a slide in screen button is visible and when you click again then is 
button invisible. If you don't have enabled these objects, then you can't define this function. For example, you can choose the specified sliding screen is not activated. You want to activate it by this enable checkbox. Okay, now we try to simulate it. Yes. Now when you click on this button, respectively after release of this button, you can see sliding screen button object. And when you click everywhere or on this button, you hide it. As example for how to use uh, or for what to use the sliding screen, we create basic menu and for this menu we use sliding screen left. Enable this object. Okay, we choose background color, for example, blue. Go to this screen left. Change the layout, for example, with 160. Okay, save, go back. Test slide screen, create some button. Oh, sorry, with same width as sliding screen left 160. Okay, a little bit bigger. On position zero, zero. Okay. Name of the button will be menu. For example, font thirty pixels. Okay. <coughs> This button we use for showing the left sliding screen menu okay, by event and after release of this button we show left slide in screen sliding screen left and you can use toggle Or we use mode on. Okay, also this button we use in sliding screen left paste, but here this button we use for high sliding screen off. Save. We test it. Click on the menu and you see the menu on the left side of the screen. Hop. Okay, we don't want to have visible handle, never show handle. Okay. And for example, we create some new screens. For example, Screen 1, screen 2, screen 3. Okay, we go back to the main screen. Insert text. This is best 
light green change alignment to centered and font will be 40 okay insert it in for screen one will be this is the screen this is screen one this is screen two and this is screen three okay also on the screens we copy menu button screen number one paste screen number two paste and screen number three paste In sliding screen, okay, this we cancel. In sliding screen left, we make buttons. They can be same width and height like menu button, but we change the name, screen one, and also change the event of this button where we use activate screen screen one same for screen two and for screen three screen two properties change the screen name in activate screen function okay and screen three also change the name of the button screen three and one more button for rendering to the main screen to the test slide screen main also change the event to test slide screen test slide okay and now we can try to simulate if everything works fine okay this is the start screen test slide screen and this is the menu button click on the menu button and we go want to go on the screen one Yes, now we're on screen 1, on screen 2, on screen 3, and now we go back to the main screen, which is test slide. Now we're back. <coughs> this is uh, how you can use sliding screens object, for example, like in this example, for the creating simple menu. where you have more space for your screen and when you go want to go to the another screen you just click on the menu go to screen 2 and here you can uh, have some i don't know for example rectangles cycle these objects is good you have more space for for your HMI visualization you don't want to have a static <coughs> menu you just used slide sliding screen object
see this screen too. Go main. Go to screen through, and you have and you have more space on this screen. You don't wanna hear, have here static static uh, menu, but you just roll it. Okay, thank you for watching this video. Goodbye.